Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently finished reading Lakota Woman, which is written by Mary Crowdog. And it's really a fascinating book if you're um, drawn by the Lakota people or the Lakota Sioux. Um, it's absolutely fascinating. She talks about the Crow Dog tribe, uh, the Kit Foxes, and some other um, tribes as well. But it mainly focuses on the Lakota and uh, the reservation where she grew up. And then she went to her form school. She went through so many trials and tribulations. And it, I found I actually found it very um, inspiring. And one thing that I thought was absolutely incredible was when she talked about, well, peyote itself and um, medicine in the tribe and how the, the shaman could heal better than the white doctors that had come to help heal later on. I mean, after Wounded Knee and whatnot and all that. This, wounded Knee was just a, a travesty that never should have happened. Um, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, but she, um, she speaks of how she and her original father didn't see eye to eye and then her mother married a new man and he was an alcoholic. She got into alcohol really, I mean, really, really young. And she's also <laughs> attributed that to the Wasikin, which actually makes more sense with a white man. Um, it is a, a Wasikin invention. <laughs> so weird to put. Actually, it's not my ancestors, but, you know, coming from uh, a background who it has proclivities toward alcoholism, I'm like, ew. Yeah, fire water, no good. But anyways, um, I thought that the book was absolutely fantastic. I've been drawn by the Lakota forever and the the Crow as well as the Cherokee. I like their legends and lore and I find them absolutely fa fantastic and fascinating. Um, she speaks of her, her life, her um, trials, tribulations. It's a very short book, but it's very insightful. And one thing, I. Um, other than her speaking about peyote itself and it being uh, uh, a religious, uh, spiritual, mystical thing, she actually got high on it quite a bit, <laughs> not knowing, you know, her limit, um, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. But anyway, it, um, it was absolutely phenomenally written and um, she talks about the Shanta Ishta, which is the eye of the heart, and um, Greg Braden speaks of that in detail in his um, stories, um, as well as talks on the Shanta Ishta, and I feel like the mind and the heart should be married. You need both to be balanced and to comprehend and to change the world. And of course, she talks about um, menstruation. Um, it was a interesting tradition that they had about that but hello but that's all i have to say till next time live long prosper